And it's interesting because sometimes when you're experiencing things yourself, you try to forget about things that happened in the past or whatever. And the way something that put things in perspective for me was obviously highlighting what everyone has highlighted over the last few years. But for me, having an 18-year-old daughter, I've gone back in my time and gone, that thing that happened to me when I was 16, yeah. if that happened to my daughter, would I think that was acceptable? Or right. I'd be like, absolutely not. But I just right. went through my life kind of going, these are the things that happen, accept this, and I can stand up for myself and be quite confrontational, but definitely not as brave as you in the, in the sense that I sometimes didn't want to rock the boat. And, and this isn't because I'm weak, it's because I'm, I'm scared, like, or Maybe say you're something. you're also shy. Yeah, and scared of, like, those situations of highlighting something that everyone could, could just kind of go... Freak you know, out or about. Or freak out or go, she's lying. Because I have been in situations where people have been violent with me and accused someone of being violent, and they've said, she just made the whole thing up. She's crazy. Well, they gaslight you. Yeah, and that has happened a lot in my life. And I've been arrested a couple of times. Me too. And it's terrifying. You know, I had an incident where a guy said that I would pushed them or something, and he called the police, and I got arrested. And I hadn't, he just said that. But then it was always like, oh, well, you did get that. That did happen. I go, no, no, it didn't. That was someone just doing that, and that becomes your legacy. Like, oh, you're crazy. I, I'm not crazy. I'm either honest and I'm standing up for myself, or maybe I'm attracted to crazy people, so they say I'm crazy. Maybe. Uh, for me, it was really a clear-cut case of this person that assaulted me doing years of damage um, to my career and uh, to my reputation and, and to others that he violated. His whole thing, his stock and trade, was buying off the media and giving them a list of if this name ever comes up, and mine was number one with the red line through it, make sure you trash them, make sure you call them druggies, mm -hmm. make sure you say they're crazy, make sure you say they're a slut. So I've been slut-shamed most of my life, and the, the irony is that because I was so, I had to fight against this idea of what I was. I was so trapped and encased mm. in this disgusting idea of what I was that was not even close to where I was. I had to behave like the most prim and proper person, lest anybody, if I danced mm. on a table, God forbid, yeah. anywhere, which is, should be someone's right to dance on a table, that would have been seen as uh, like confirmation of what everybody was saying. And, and it is really hard for survivors to come out because they definitely usually get labeled as crazy and you have to have a very strong voice and, and constitution to fight that. And, and I understand that most people don't because it is brutal. Mm. It's not fun. Mm. But for me, it was, I kept waiting for someone else to do what I did. I kept mm -hmm. waiting and waiting and I was like, nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Damn it, I have to do this myself.